I'm back on Dragon Mag 5 and I want to have a quick look at the transcription option and see how good it is. So what I've done quickly, I've taken my Olympus D670 and I've just recorded something randomly through the speaker from the internet from a distance. Once I've done that I'm going to try that out on the iPhone 4 and record from that and see what quality we get and what quality transcription. So first we need to do is actually open Dragon Mac 5, so tap it once to open it up. And you need to create a profile specifically for the transcription source. And here we go, so I'm going to drag this over. First option I want to go to Manage Profiles and Audio Sources. And this is where you create your profile. Currently my profile is for the headset for me to dictate and you can see here. But what I want to do is I want to create a new one. So I'm going to click plus in the Profiles option. And I'm just going to call this the speaker's name, Kaufman. So, it's a transcription, not a dictation profile. So make sure you select transcription and click continue. Now, transcription source name. So it's come from the Olympus. So I'm going to type in Olympus so Dragon then knows where the actual source has been done. Click continue. Choose the language, and I believe it was American. So I'm going to leave the United States. And again, to improve accuracy, I'm going to leave the accent as American. I know there's different dialects. Now let Dragon do its stuff. And in the moment, it'll ask me to import the Olympus recordings for that lecture and voice. Now I need to find it on my desktop. And it should be there under Olympus Recorder. Just a word of warning. You can only record in the formats at the top there. And you need it, and you need at least 90 seconds. I tried doing it with WMA, and it doesn't work. So make sure you choose the correct format, and you can change them on your iPhone or your Olympus recorder. So I'm going to double tap that, and now let Dragon Transcription do its training. Now I'm going to skip through a bit quicker so you don't have to wait, but I'm not going to change anything to do anything. Now when it's finished, I need to start correcting stuff specifically for this speaker and this source. So the speaker is Dr. Kaufman and the actual source is Olympus Recorder. So what you do is you play back and as you play back you start correcting what's wrong. So I'm going to click play first. Welcome to Philosophy 110. And you can see there's a few words there, so what you do is you click into it and then you type in the errors that were wrong. And then you click accept and it goes into the next section. Click play again. And I am a professor in the philosophy department at Missouri. So I'm a professor. Click play if you missed it out. And I am a professor in the philosophy department philosophy department and you click play or accept if you're happy click play again university. University. so it's not diversity I want university so I won't go through it all as you say it's a bit tedious and then click accept so you go through it all correcting it so then you actually correct it properly. You can see where it's highlighted red because I didn't correct it properly so I skipped it. So let's try and correct this properly. So I'm going to click play. The course is designed to acquaint students. The course is designed to acquaint students. I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to click accept. Click play again. With the basic subjects and some of the more important historical figures in the history of philosophy. That's good as well. I'm going to click accept. So you can see how this works, so any errors, correct them, like I should have done on the first line, go through them all until you've turned everything green. That way you're correcting it for that specific profile and voice. So next time you use that voice and you import it, and you import it into Dragon, it should dictate OK. So I'm going to go through it all, and I'm going to skip it all and go straight to the end so we can see how it transcribes afterwards.
Now that I've finished, I can select the train button to train it. So let's see how it comes out now. So what I've done is I've taken the demo file that I've recorded, corrected errors, and now I'm going to the training mode. And just bear in mind that training will pop up that button when there's enough to be trained. So you don't have to do the whole lot. But it's definitely worth doing the whole lot to make sure you've corrected as much as possible. Then the transcription should be a lot more accurate, I'm hoping. And now let's see how it's transcribed. You can see if you spend the time actually correcting it, it does make a difference. Now, bear in mind, on Olympus Recorder I used the PCM option, which is high quality wave format. And I have the recorder roughly about 5 metres away from the speaker. Now I've done the same again with the iPhone, but I've put the iPhone a bit closer and I'm going to see how that works as well and see what feedback we get from that and the quality. So now what you can do, after you create, you can see Olympus, so I've now created one for Olympus and Dr. Kaufman. So I've clicked Manage Profiles and Audio, and now I've got that ready. You see it's selected green, and it's using Olympus. So when I create a new one in a minute, I'll use the same speaker, but this time I won't call it Olympus, I'll create a new one called iPhone. So let's try that out. Now I'm looking at the iPhone recording. It's identical to the one done with the Olympus recorder, except the iPhone was closer. I'd say about a metre away from the speaker. So, I need to create a new profile again, clicking plus. Again, it's the same person, so I'm going to call this Dr. Kaufman again. But add two at the end. Again, it's transcription, so I'll click continue. Transcription source this time was iPhone. And I'm using an older iPhone 4. Click continue. Again, it's the same speakers before, United States and American. Make sure you choose the correct accent, it makes a big difference to the recognition. Click continue, and again we go through the same process as we did with the Olympus D670. And then we can check how accurate that is compared to that. There's my recording there. Double tap. And see how we go. So, you know, that's looking quite accurate. I won't say accurate, but it's not looking bad compared to Olympus D670 actually on an old iPhone 4. But again, it was closer a metre away. See, I'm going on an analogy that it depends on where you are in a lecture. If you're at the back, it's not going to pick up too well if the quality's got to be really good. And again, we go through the same process as we did before. Important you correct. So, click play and have a listen. You can see that's well out wrong there, so I want to go through it all correcting it. And I know this is time consuming, but really important you do this because when you come to actually transcribe, those corrections will make a big difference. So I'm just going to close that for now. So if I close that window and close, and I can choose which transcription audio source I want to use, or click Manage Profiles, you might decide actually I want to go back to Olympus 1. Or if you see, I click on Dr. Kaufman 2, it gives me the iPhone option. So really important you choose the correct ones because you're correcting it to that source and quality. I recommend just trying it out. Sometimes it will be good and sometimes it won't be so good. But if you're in a lecture room and you're near the front and you're getting a really good recording, then if you create a profile for a certain speaker, then that should transcribe a lot of it okay for you. But give it a go. Thanks for watching.